hello everyone welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well so guys in today's video we are going to see some of the real exam questions that were previously asked in gcp associate cloud engineer certification exam so make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are visiting the channel for the first time because a lot of these kinds of videos are going to be uploaded on the channel so that it will be helpful for you for in for the preparation of your exam let's start with our first question you need to create a custom vpc with a single subnet the subnet's range must be as large as possible which range should you use so we have option a as 0.0.0.0 slash 0 10.0.0.0 slash 8 option c as 172.16.0.0 slash 12 and option d as 192.168 0.0.0 slash 16 so we know that in order to have the largest uh, range the subnet value should be 10.0.0.0 slash 8 which is option number b moving on to the next question now you want to select and configure a cost effective solution for relational data on google cloud platform you are working with a small set of operational data in one geographic location you need to support point in time recovery what should you do we have the option says select cloud sql verify that the that enable binary locking option is selected option b is select cloud sql select the create failover replicas option option c is select cloud spanner set up your instance with two nodes and option d is select cloud spanner set up your instance as multi-regional so the correct answer for this question is option number a that is select cloud sql verify that the enable binary logging option is selected so the correct answer for this question is option number a moving on to the next question you want to configure auto healing for network load balancing for a group of compute engine instances that run in multiple zones using the fewest steps possible you need to configure recreation of vms if they are unresponsive after three attempts of 10 seconds each what should you do so options that we have are create an http load balancer with a backend configuration that references an existing instance group select the health check to healthy that is http option b is create an http load balancer with a backend configuration that refers an existing instance group S define a balancing mode and set the maximum rps to 10 option c is create a managed instance group set the auto healing check to healthy and then we have the option d is create a managed instance group verify the auto scaling setting is on so the correct answer for this question is option number c that is create a managed instance group set the auto healing check to healthy okay moving on to the next question now you are using multiple configurations for g cloud you want to review the configured kubernetes engine cluster of an inactive configuration using the fewest possible steps what should you do we have the option says use g cloud config configurations described to review the output use g cloud config configurations active and g cloud config list to review the output option c is use kubectl config get context to review the output and the option d is use kubectl get use context and kubectl config view to review the output so the correct answer for this question is option number d that we have to use two properties that is kubectl config use context and kubectl config view moving on to the next question now your company uses cloud storage to store applications backup files for disaster recovery purposes you want to follow google's recommended practice which storage option should you choose we have the four options as multi-regional storage regional storage near line storage and cold line storage the correct answer for this question is option number d that is cold line storage moving on to the next question now several employees at your company have been creating projects with google cloud platform and paying for it with their personal credit cards for which the company reimburses the company wants to centralize all these projects under a single new billing account what should you do so we have four options contact cloud billing at the rate google.com with your bank account details and request a corporate billing account for your company create a ticket with the google support and wait for their call to share your credit card details over the phone so option b cannot be an answer option c is in the google cloud platform in the google platform console go to the resource management and move all the projects to the root organization in the google cloud platform console create a new billing account and set up a payment method so option d is the correct one that is in the google cloud platform console you have to create a new billing account and set up a payment method 
मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू हैव एन एप्लीकेशन दैट लुक्स फॉर इस लाइसेंसिंग सर्वस ऑन द आई पी टेन पॉइंट ओ पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट ट्वेंटी वन यू नीड टू डिप्लॉय द लाइसेंसिंग सर्वस ऑन कंप्यूट इंजन यू डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू चेंज द कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन एंड वॉन्ट द एप्लीकेशन टू बी एबल टू रीच द लाइसेंसिंग सर्वर वॉट शुड यू डू सो वी हैव द ऑप्शन रिजर्व द आई पी एज अ स्टैटिक इंटरनल आई पी यूजिंग द जी क्लाउड एंड असाइन इट टू द लाइसेंसिंग सर्वर ऑप्शन बी इज रिजर्व द आई पी एज अ स्टैटिक पब्लिक आई पी इन एड्रेस यूजिंग द जी क्लाउड एंड असाइन इट टू द लाइसेंसिंग सर्वर ऑप्शन सी इज यूज द आई पी एज अ कस्टम एफ एम एल एल आई पी एड्रेस एंड असाइन इट टू द लाइसेंसिंग सर्वर एंड ऑप्शन डी इज स्टार्ट द लाइसेंसिंग सर्वर विद एन ऑटोमेटिक एफ एम एल एल आई पी एड्रेस एंड देन प्रमोट इट टू द स्टैटिक इंटरनल आई पी एड्रेस द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस इज ऑप्शन ए दैट इज वी हैव टू यूज द और रिजर्व द आई पी एज स्टैटिक इंटरनल आई पी ओके मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू आर डिप्लॉइंग एन एप्लीकेशन टू एन एप इंजन यू वॉन्ट द नंबर ऑफ इंस्टेंसेज टू स्केल बेस ऑन द रिक्वेस्ट रेट यू नीड एटलीस्ट थ्री एन ऑक्यूपाइड इंस्टेंस एट ऑल द टाइम्स विच स्केलिंग टाइम शुड यू यूज सो वी हैव द ऑप्शन एज मैनुअल स्केलिंग विद थ्री इंस्टेंस बेसिक स्केलिंग्स विद मिनिमम थ्री इंस्टेंस सेट टू थ्री एंड बेसिक नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन इज बेसिक स्केलिंग विद मैक्सिमम इंस्टेंस सेट टू थ्री एंड ऑप्शन डी इज ऑटोमेटिक स्केलिंग विद मिनिमम आइडल इंस्टेंस इज सेट टू थ्री द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर डी दैट इज ऑटोमेटिक स्केलिंग विद मिनिमम आइडल इंस्टेंस इज सेट टू थ्री मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू हैव अ डेवलपमेंट प्रोजेक्ट विद इस अप्रोप्रिएट आई एम रोल्स डिफाइन यू आर क्रिएटेड प्रोडक्शन प्रोजेक्ट एंड वॉन्ट टू हैव द सेम आई एम रोल्स ऑन द न्यू प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग द फ्यूएस्ट स्टेप्स पॉसिबल स्टेप्स वॉट शुड यू डू सो द ऑप्शन आर यूज जी क्लाउड आई एम रोल्स कॉपी एंड स्पेसिफाई द प्रोडक्शन प्रोजेक्ट एज द डेस्टिनेशन प्रोजेक्ट ऑप्शन बी इज यूज जी क्लाउड आई एम रोल्स कॉपी एंड स्पेसिफाई योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एज द डेस्टिनेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑप्शन सी इज इन द गूगल क्लाउड प्लेटफॉर्म कंसोल यूज द क्रिएट फ्रॉम रोल फंक्शनैलिटी एंड ऑप्शन डी इज इन द गूगल क्लाउड प्लेटफॉर्म कंसोल यूज द क्रिएट रोल फंक्शनैलिटी एंड सेलेक्ट ऑल द एप्लीकेबल permissions the correct answer for this question is option a that is you have to use google g cloud im roles copy and specify the production project as the destination project okay because in the question only they have mentioned that you are creating a production project and want to have the same im roles so that is why we have selected the destination project as production project next question is you need a dynamic way of provisioning vm on which on compute engine the exact specification will be in a dedicated configuration file you want to follow google's recommendation practices which method should you use options are deployment manager cloud composer manage instance group and unmanage instance group the correct answer for this question is deployment manager that is option number a moving on to the next question you have a docker file that you need to deploy on kubernetes engine what should you do we have the options as use kubectl app deploy and the file name use gcloud app deploy and the file name option c is create a docker image from the docker file and upload it to the container registry create a deployment yaml file to point to that image use kubectl to create the deployment with that file option d is create a docker image from the docker file and upload it to the cloud st storage note that in the option c it is given as container registry whereas in the option d it is said cloud storage and the rest is same so the correct answer for this question is option number c that is the container registry one moving ahead to the next question your development team needs a new jenkins server for their projects you need to deploy the server using the fewest steps possible what should you do so options are download and deploy the jenkins java var to app engine standard option b is create a new compute engine instance and install jenkins through the command line in interface option c is create a kubernetes cluster on compute engine and create a deployment with the jenkins docker image option d is use gcp marketplace to launch the jenkins solution the correct answer for this is option d that is you have to use the gcp marketplace moving on to the next question you need to update a deployment in the deployment manager without any resource downtime in the deployment which command should you use we have different commands option a is create config option b is update config option c is create config and option d is update config okay so you also have to take care of this that is uh, deployments create config deployments update config resource create config and resource update config the correct answer for this is deployment update config because in the question itself they have mentioned that you need to update a deployment okay so that is why we have used this that is deployments update config moving on to the next question you need to run an important query in big query but expect it to run it expect it to return a lot of records you want to find out how much time it will cost to run the query you are using on demand pricing what should you do options are arrange to switch to flat rate pricing for this query the move back to on demand 
use the command line to run a dry run query to estimate the number of bytes read that convert the byte estimates to the rollet using the pricing calculator so the next option is use the command line to run a dry run query to estimate the number of bytes return then convert that bytes estimated to dollars using the pricing calculator option d is use uh, run a select count to get an idea of how many records your query will look through then convert that number of rows to dollars using the pricing calculator the correct answer is option number b for this question moving ahead you have a single binary application that you want to run on google cloud platform you decided to automatically scale the application based on underlying infrastructure your organizational policies requires you to use the virtual machines directly you need to ensure that the application scaling is operationally efficient and completed as quickly as possible what should you do so options are create a google cloud kubernetes engine cluster and use horizontal pod auto scaling to scale the application option b is create an instance template and use the template in a managed instance group with auto scaling configured option c is create an instance template and use the template in a managed instance group that scales up and down based on the time of the day option d is use a set use a set of third party tools to bring to build automation around scaling that application up and down based on stack driver cpu monitoring the correct answer is option number b moving on to the next question you are analyzing google cloud platform service cost from three separate projects you want to use this information to create service cost estimates by service type daily and monthly for the next six months using the standard query syntax what should you do options are export your bill to a uh, cloud storage bucket and then import it into the cloud big table for analysis option b is export your bill to a cloud storage bucket and then import it to google sheets option b cannot be an answer option c is export your transaction to a local file and perform analysis with a desktop tool no this is also not a suitable approach option d is export your bill to a big query data set and then write time window based sql queries for analysis so the correct answer is option d moving on to the next question you need to set up a policy so that the videos stored in a specific cloud storage regional bucket are moved to cold line after 90 days and then deleted after one year from their creation how should you set up the policy we have the options use cloud storage object life cycle management using age conditions with set storage class and delete actions set the set storage class action 90 days and then delete action to 275 days that is 365 to 90 second option is similar just the difference is that they have mentioned that the delete action to 365 days so the correct answer is option b because we need the uh, we need that it should be deleted after 365 days that is why we have selected option number b whereas in the first option it was saying 275 days moving on to the next question you have a linux virtual machine that must connect to cloud sql you have create you created a service account with the appropriate access rights you want to make sure that vm uses the service account instead of the default compute engine service account what should you do we have the options as when creating the virtual machines via the web console specify the service account under the identity and api access section option b is download a json private key for the service account on the project media and json as the value for the key compute engine service account option c is download a json private key for the service account on custom metadata for the vm add that json as the value for the key compute engine service account option d is download a json private key for the service account after creating the vm ssh into the vm and save the json so the correct answer for this is option number a moving on to the next question now you created an instance of sql server 2017 on compute engine to test features in the next in the new version you want to connect to this instance using the fewest steps what should you do okay so the let's straight away look at the answer for this question the answer for this is install the rdp client in your desktop set a windows username and password in the gcp console use the credentials to log into the instance that is answer is option number b next question is you have one gcp account running in your default region and zone and another account running in non default region and zone you want to start a new compute engine instance in these two cloud platforms accounts using the command line interface what should you do the correct answer for this is option number a that is creating two configurations using gcloud config configurations create name and run gcloud config configurations active name to switch between accounts when running the commands to start the compute engine instances so with this we have come to an end of this video i am going to upload part two of this video uh, you will get more questions that will be in the continuation of this video in part two so thanks for watching the video if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe to the channel